Hi Afro Lanka fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The video you just saw of me getting this done, that was like two days ago, I think. So this is day three, this is how it looks, I really like it. I know it's empty, I've not yet put a uh, henna in it. Um, I'm running out of excuses, like any my main excuse is just motherhood. <laughs> guys it's just motherhood 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 i know it looks really naked but mm, the wedding is here today is the nikah uh and i want to go to the bathroom and you know get ready it's 12 o'clock uh the nikah is after dohri i'm already late as usual as per usual <laughs> so guys this is actually um the second wedding i'm attending in uganda the first one uh, was way before I had a YouTube channel. It was kind of like a Mombasa wedding. There was nothing like, you know, like a big major culture shock. I think this one was, was also going to be the same way. But, but the nikah is being done in the mosque. And in Mombasa, the nikah is usually men go to the mosque and the women go to the bride's house. But this one, we women are also going to the mosque. So I have never experienced it. So I'm going to take you guys with me so that you can experience it with me. Okay. So stay tuned, guys. Let me get ready. So guys, I've washed and changed and also did my makeup. <laughs> Anyways, my border guy is here. I'm going to show you the whole outfit once we reach at the venue. Mm, let's hope this um lashes stay on on the border my goodness hi to get danny i'm gonna throw in a hijab because we are going to the holy mosque of gaddafi so yeah i need to, to wear a hijab for that i'm gonna meet my husband over there though <laughs> Boda boda, mkasa. Let's go. Oh. Ah, the sun is shining. Mm. The sun is shining. It's a winter season. Hmm? We are in the summer season. Meet mkasa. Mkasa, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> ah, to get them, mkasa. Don't drop me, eh? You see my eyelashes? In the boda boda, they fly. Hey. <laughs> So what We made it guys the lashes are still intact i'll remember to carry some sunglasses next time that's gonna be mask i think people are praying already inside so i need to figure out because the mosque is too big i need to figure out which part is the wedding okay wow Going upstairs now. All the women sat upstairs, and we were literally peeping the whole entire Nika from this balcony. Nika literally took 10 minutes after the prayers. Mm. 
Immediately after the nikah, we went downstairs to eat. There were two separate sections. This was the male section and through this door was the female section where we sat and ate Kenyan Mombasa Swahili Biryani made in Uganda. Mashallah, Nikai Shafungwa, what was Shafula? And I'm thinking of going to the bride's house and you know, to come shoot baby Aharosi. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna head there right now. I'm still in Gaddafi Mosque. Yeah, this is the first time of uh, me attending a wedding in a mosque. Usually, uh, Islamic weddings in Mombasa. Women don't go, don't necessarily go to the mosque. Lakini, Hoku women go to the mosque and they eat in the mosque, which was a very nice experience, you know, first time experience. So, to the Nini. Friday and I'm getting my pilau, my Friday pilau going right now, serving lunch for my family. So today is the reception. This is the day where like, you know, people get to enjoy and have fun. One thing I've noticed about um, nikahs in Kampala, in Uganda, nikah, uh, ziko very cool, very quiet, like hazina mambo mingi, very simple. Which I really like because you can feel like it's a, like a spiritual uh, thing. Eh? Because nikah, you know, that kind of marriage is uh, a spiritual bond where Allah is witnessing it. So you can just feel the, the, the presence, you know, the holiness. So yeah, yesterday was really nice. Just a few family and friends. And the bride looks so beautiful. Anyways, I'm about to go eat lunch with my family alafu we'll start getting ready for the reception in the evening i think it's gonna start around seven or six i'm not sure i managed to fill in uh, my henna yeah i know it's a bit too late but you know better let the neighbor to get into kaleni
guys, you won't believe I'm at uh, Mona Faces, the yeah. very famous Mona. But unfortunately, she's not here. But I'm with Brenda. I'm yeah. in good hands. I'm in good hands. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm gonna get my face beat. Uh, Brenda is going to make me look decent. Yeah. I wanna look put together because yo, the way I show up in these YouTube videos, so crusty. Uh -uh. So today I wanna look put together. Flawless. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I made it home with my eyelashes intact. I got my outfit on, but I'm still uh, mm, contemplating on the accessories. <laughs> Guys, accessories. Me, I'm not an accessorizing person. So I was thinking this earring or this one. Because my hair, I pulled all my hair up, by the way, <laughs> if you guys can see. Because I feel like my, if my dress is like flowy. Guys, Musha, you on a dress. By the way, I mean, I repeat my dresses because they are mine. They belong to me. I wore them. I bought them to wear them. So, <laughs> I don't know why I'm shouting. But, as you can see, this is it. That's why I decided to do the updo. Because I feel like if I let my hair down and the sleeves are already down and the dress is flowy, it's just going to be like, eh. So my hair up for contradiction. I love so now my neck is exposed. I was like thinking of whether to put this chain here or not. Because it's again it steals away from the design. The design is this knot over here. My outfit, my dress design. It's this kamafundo here. So if I wear this long necklace, I feel like it's distracting from the design armor. It's complementing it. It's going to be complimenting. Okay, back to the earrings. I was thinking flowy or studs. Guys, please vote down below in the comment section. Aisha. Aisha, which one? Do you say studs? Yes. Ep, ep. Studs or flowy? My, my, house, my house girl uh, suggested these ones. Like, you know, I was thinking this because since my hair is up. Like, it would be nice. Comment down below which one you prefer. I'm sure by the time you comment, that one shine, I'm seeing in Sharudi. But, anywho. Hmm. Because it's a wedding, Staki Pia Kua, like, too toned down. I mean, I'm waiting for my friends. They're coming. I think they're here. They're calling me. Hello? 
Welcome. The money, me guys, they are here. They're gonna give me a lift because your girl has never been out in Kampala at night, like in the border. <laughs> that one, I'd rather stay in those. But they are kind enough to give me a lift, so yeah, those ones. So, guys, I'm going to go with this. I feel like it's gonna be okay, but still. <laughs> The updo, guys. The updo. I found this hairstyle on TikTok, by the way. If you Google box braids hairstyle, utamona monam ki yofanya easy style. So I tried it out, and I'm like, wow, it's nice. At least I can have attention to the makeup. Guys, this lighting is so bad. When ah, uh, let's go to the wedding.
guys everybody is asleep Shh, everyone is asleep i am so exhausted lakini i had a i had a wonderful evening and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video guys do figure 2k subscribers oh my god 2000 subscribers not just viewers but subscribers i'm so like i'm so happy you guys are actually like liking my content and if you do like my content if you always like look forward for my content please subscribe and click the notification bell it will really 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 support me it will really really support my channel it will really really mean a lot to me and i thank all 2000 of you for subscribing i love you all and hi guys see nikabadi shenguo i get into the pajamas and i get into the bed i remove the makeup and all that nime choke guys i hope i'll catch you on my next video please subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload another video, okay? Bye. Ah, and by the way, congratulations to the newlyweds. I pray all the blessings and good tidings to you guys. Yalla. Bye.